at 8.59 this morning in Tewksbury, New Jersey. That is in Hunterton County. We had a 4.8 magnitude earthquake. It was felt for over 70,000 square miles, covering Maryland all the way toward Vermont. Now, for more information on the earthquake and the situation yep. regarding this quake, we're bringing in Dr. Wendy Bohan, an earthquake expert this morning. Thank you so much yeah. for joining us this morning, especially on such short notice, but obviously a scary situation for a lot of people. Absolutely. Earthquakes don't happen as often on the East Coast as the West Coast. And so it was a little bit of a rude awakening that many people on the East Coast got today. And uh, Dr. Ramapo, um, Ramapo, I'm thinking about the Ramapo fault line. Excuse me for that, uh, Miss Wendy here. And, you know, for a lot of people that live in New Jersey, you know, I didn't even know that as well. That's kind of a famous fault line that runs from Pennsylvania up in the Westchester County in New York. And over the years, that's been an area that we've had earthquakes. Yes, there are earthquakes in New Jersey. Some of them happen on faults that we don't even know exist. So on the East Coast, there are lots of fault lines, but they're mostly very old, ancient faults. But every once in a while, they do start acting up. Um, so just because we know that there's one big fault doesn't mean that this earthquake occurred there. And in fact, New Jersey has felt earthquakes, you know, every couple of years, and there's a few earthquakes there every year. Uh, there have been a lot of magnitude fours over the last, I don't know, excuse me, 50 years or so, but um, it is a bit of an event. I felt it here in Maryland, so I know it was exciting for me, but for a lot of people, it can be scary. So if you feel earthquake shaking, whether you're in New Jersey or California or somewhere else in the world, drop down to the ground, take cover underneath a sturdy object, and hold on until all of the earthquake shaking has stopped. We don't need to be scared of earthquakes. We just want to be prepared for them when they do happen. Absolutely the goal here at Act Brothers to keep people prepared ahead of any event, whether it be weather related or a natural disaster like an earthquake. Now, I do want to ask you here for the folks who maybe just underwent those tremors like yourself. Obviously, you said you experienced them in Maryland. You know, what comes next in mm -hmm. terms of kind of reviewing the situation of any damage, any debris? And is there anything that the average person like you or I could do in terms of making it easier on the folks who have to decide if things are safe? Absolutely. And thank you for that question, because preparedness and mitigation really are the key to any kind of natural hazard, including earthquakes. So if you were near where the earthquake occurred, uh, with a quake this size, it's unlikely that there will be damage or at least major damage. Things may have fallen off of shelves. Uh, there may be some damage to items inside of homes. So make sure in particular you clean up any chemical spills, clean up any broken glass that there might be and make sure that all of the rest of us that didn't have any damage, this is a good time to think about what we can do, not just for earthquakes, but other hazards. You wanna have an emergency kit with any supplies that you might need. You wanna make sure to have extra food and water around, not just for you, but also for your pets, because they're part mm. of the family too. Uh, any medications that you might need. So this is just a good reminder that things mm -hmm. happen sometimes that we are not expecting. This is an opportunity to be prepared. And Dr. Bohan, as we go forward, obviously this wasn't a huge earthquake, but should residents expect anything else where there's, I hate to use the term aftershocks, but any more activity over the coming days? So aftershocks are normal and expected. Mm -hmm. They happen after most earthquakes and there will be aftershocks to this earthquake. There may be aftershocks that are strong enough for people to feel, but most of those are likely to be very small. It's very unlikely that there would be a larger event that comes after this, but you know, low probability is not no probability, but that's not something I'm gonna lose sleep over tonight. But again, I'm just gonna remember that everywhere can be earthquake country. And so we need to be prepared just in case. Very important information this morning. Dr. Wendy Bohan, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for all of this mm -hmm. great info for some folks who I'm sure are not used to this sort of situation around areas like New Jersey and New York. Yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me.